Hello everyone. Thank you for coming to Mary's Little House again. I'm so grateful to invite you back. Peanut's already asleep on my lap here. I, I, I've, today's been very special for me. Sort of a mixed day. This morning I, I approached a wonderful holy priest and asked him to be my spiritual director. And, and he accepted and we had a wonderful first session. St. Teresa of Avila, when she was reforming the Carmelite order, she knew she needed spiritual directors, priests who were uh, holy Carmelites who knew the, the charism of the Carmelites, but priests who were holy and learned. She wanted a learned priest who, who knew theology and knew what the teachings of the church were and everything too. Not just holy, she wanted it learned too and wise and 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 with a discerning spirit so that's why she got saint john of the cross to reform the men's part of the carmelite order so her sisters and herself would have good spiritual directors she's the one that said that those who are are at least she quoted it i don't know if she actually was originated it but those who are led by themselves are led by a fool. In spiritual life, we need somebody else to discern for us. We don't see our our hidden faults or we we, we and things and and the evil one can really get in and do havoc to our our lives. So we need a spiritual director as we grow in holiness. Now you say, oh no, where can I get a spiritual director? Well, usually it. It boils down to monthly confession and a and a and a holy priest, you know, and some have the privilege of of some of some retreat house or something, and not only priests can be spiritual directors, by the way, but as learned as as sisters who have been trained to do this and are in in, in uh, prayerful and all who are qualified, and lay women and lay men too. So, uh, so anyway, but I think what I see mostly is spiritual direction is, is practically done with a regular confessor and not the before mass confessor, it, that's fine, you know, but, but where they have more time to spend, uh, maybe it, before a confession just to discuss how God's, what God's been doing in our lives in this past month or three months or whatever and then end up with a confession. That's why I see most how people handle that. Anyway, God will provide all you need, by the way, just like he will provide, Jesus said, what you are to wear, what you are to eat, what you are to drink. He'll provide those physical things, those material things, but he will also will provide the spiritual director. For a long time I've been seeking one, Oh, I've been going to confession frequently and all that and monthly confession and sometimes more. So I it says that I been out a director I have uh, you know, haven't had the wonderful direction of holy priests, but one that would, would stay would stay with me and uh, uh, so because uh, of my of, of my circumstances and all I, I, I was in a sort of a, a spot here to have a spiritual director. So I'm so happy. I told him told the spiritual director, I'm so happy to be obedient to, uh, uh, I know the, I be to God, be it to the church, our bishop, the pastor, our local pastor, but I want it, I want, I, my will, I don't want to do my will, but God's will, and, and you show it, you help me discern what God's will is, and I'm so, I'm glad I have, have you, Father, as my spiritual director, and just so, so that was a really high point. The other mixed part is I, 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 I come off the mountain and uh, all kinds of things are happening down on the mountain and some th situations I didn't handle very well. Some phone calls I might have shown a little bit of impatience and I, uh, I didn't feel so noble. I think of mothers who are in the middle of the mess, you know, I think sometimes they, they leave, they're holy and good, and but they're human and I think they think, oh no, I'm not holy. and. I could have handled this better, or I, I, I flew off the handle, or something. 
and that doesn't make them less holy. It just makes them very human and, and makes us come back uh, to God in our littleness and ask His strength and patience and help and not to be too much disturbed by our, our littleness as we try to serve our families and the people that, that come to us in need. Sometimes very distressed and they get us distressed too. Um, that's okay, no problem. No problem, God is so good. He uses even our faults and our failings and our weaknesses for, for the good of others. They, because they, people see us that, that way, well, you know, he's not, he's not way up there on the mountain. He's right with us. So we glory in our infirmities, too. But I wasn't glorying in mine today. I was feeling so bad but sometimes. But God just, he works through all of that, too. Anyway, back to spiritual direction. Now, what is a spiritual director? Okay, who's the main spiritual director? Question. The main spiritual director is the Holy Spirit. That's the one who leads us, who inspires us, who gives us fortitude, uh, strength, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and the fruits of the Holy Spirit, joy and peace and patience. That, that's the main one. But God, because we're human, we need a person with skin. You know, the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. And we need someone to watch us uh, and to guide us. And well, some we could be transparent to, to bear our souls to. And so, they, so that, that's a person who is wise, who knows the teachings of the church, who knows theology, uh, you know, know has, has knowledge as well as uh, wisdom, and, and is prayerful, is close to the Lord, prayerful and, and, and holy. You know, holy means cl close to the Lord. Anyway, so, so, so those are the qualifications. Now, what does a, what's the role of the spiritual director? It's there to just accompany uh, us on our journey. It's there to, to, to do our spiritual checkup, as someone so wisely <laughs> uh, 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 use uh, that phrase, you know, to see how we're doing, that we're not oh, fooling ourselves or whatever. He's there to encourage us. It's a bride thing. It's not some oh God thing. I got to tell him all this stuff. No, it's it's there, and and he discerns and he does it. He's not some the Holy Spirit's in charge. He's just very self-effacing, or she, spiritual director, and and let's and let's God, the Holy Spirit, work in his dirige or the one he's directing. He's he's very humble, or she's very humble, and and very and and uh, 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 and 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 encourages the working of the spirit, discerns with the uh, with the one he directs or she directs uh, what the Father's will is, what God is calling uh, this person to do uh, that they're directing. Discernment of spirits, because we could be led by our own spirit, by the evil spirit, or by the spirit of the world. But we want to, don't want any of that stuff. We want the Holy Spirit. So he helps us, or she helps us do that. Uh, so so it, it, it's, it's wonderful to see a spiritual director. They're so humble. They listen, and they, they, they don't talk very much. Little, the St. Teresa of Alba sort of chided uh, one of her spiritual directors who saw a fault in her. And here she was, very holy and everything, full of deep prayer and all. But... And, and, and he didn't say anything. And when she finally discovered it herself, she chided the spiritual director and said, why didn't you say anything? So I knew that, that this was, you're having trouble there, that this attachment or whatever it was, some teeny thing, but I, like John of the Cross says, we could either be held to the ground by a big heavy chain or, or, or a thin, thin little thread. So, uh, uh, so we don't, everything is important. We want to be totally detached from ourselves and from the world so we can fly, fly to God, um, fly uh, to, into the, the depths of his bosom. Anyway, um, but, but the spiritual director let her discover it, which was, a, which was better than him just coming. She wasn't ready. She didn't have the graces to hear him. But she did have the graces discovered, and then, and then she would do something about it. So spiritual directors are very wise, and the Holy Spirit works in them very strongly. 
and 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 so there are people who are laid back and who are not di uh, directors. You know that spiritual direction isn't a very good term, but that's the term we use. And that's a uh, technical term. Now, uh, others want to would like to say spiritual companion or um, thing like that, just accompanying you on your spiritual journey, which is more more accurate. Well, God bless you. Uh, I'm so glad I got to talk with you. Um, God bless you and, and all that you do. And uh, when you feel like you're, oh, you're, 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 you're taking two steps back, well, just keep walking. God bless you. Uh, bye now. Let us pray for each other.